As many of you know, the past three years have presented me with challenges in the form of injuries and surgeries. I've worked hard to return to full competitive form, but I also know my body's capacities and limits, and its message to me lately has been clear. I am 41 years old. I've played more than 1,500 matches over 24 years. Tennis has treated me more generously than I ever would have dreamt, and now I must recognize when it is time to end my competitive career. Tennis ace Roger Federer will bring down the curtain on his spectacular career after next week's Lavo Cup. The star who dominated an era in tennis for more than two decades has 20 Grand Slam singles to his name. Only Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic are ahead of him. The Swiss star has played more than 1,500 matches over his 24-year-long career and has been an inspiration for sportspersons over the years not only in tennis but others as well. The Labour Cup next week in London will be my final ATP event. I will play more tennis in the future, of course, but just not in Grand Slams or on the Tour. This is a bittersweet decision because I will miss everything the Tour has given me. But at the same time, there is so much to celebrate. I consider myself one of the most fortunate people on earth. I was given a special talent to play tennis, and I did it at a level that I never imagined for much longer than I ever thought possible. In the era of fierce competition, Federer rose from the ashes, and soon he became the name synonymous with men's tennis. He was the first person to win 20 Grand Slam singles titles and held the world number one spot in the ATP ranking more than any player barring Novak Djokovic. The legend has been a part of 31 major finals with a record of 10 in a row. Only Djokovic is ahead of him with 32 finals. Federer has been voted by his peers to receive the Sportsmanship Award a record 13 times and has won the ATP fans' favourite 17 years consecutively. But towards the last phase of his career, he has been a victim of a number of injuries on the field. Federer had said back in July this year that he hoped to play one more Wimbledon, but that didn't happen. He departs with regrets, but added that he had lived a life that many would envy. Tennis has given me over the years the greatest, without a doubt, has been the people I've met along the way. My friends, my competitors, and most of all the fans who give the sport its life. But apart from sports, the tennis ace has one more side to his life. Federer is also known for donating money for humanitarian deeds. Over his entire career, he has won close to $123 million in tournament earnings. Including his endorsement deals, his net worth is said to be around $550 million. He has been a constant member of Forbes' top 10 richest sports stars in the world. While many would think money invites luxuries of life and feeds popularity, but that's not true for Federer. Instead of spending too much money on himself, he has consistently worked through his non-profit organization, the Roger Federer Foundation and a few other charitable deeds. Founded in 2003, Roger Federer Foundation mainly focuses on education specifically for children in six low-income countries including Botswana, Malawi and Zambia. In 2006, Federer was named a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, a title given to philanthropists who aim to make children's lives better around the world. Following the 2010 earthquake that devastated Haiti, Federer organized Hit for Haiti, a tennis match that was staged before the Australian Open. With tickets selling for only $9.25, the event raised $200,000 US dollars for earthquake relief. The legend has also donated 500,000 US dollars to help children impacted by the war in Ukraine after the Russian attack. When my love of tennis started, I was a ball kid in my hometown of Basel. I used to watch the players with a sense of wonder. They were like giants to me and I began to dream. My dreams led me to work harder and I started to believe in myself. Some success brought me confidence and I was on my way to the most amazing journey that has led to this day. So I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart to everyone around the world who has helped make the dreams of a young Swiss ball kid come true. Finally, to the game of tennis, I love you and will never leave you. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.